Hey, welcome back. If you are caught up on Alex Plays, you know that this is the Bottle Hunt episode. Um, I'm going to try and do it all in this episode. It's a Friday episode, so I, it's going to be extra long. So if you were listening to last episode, yesterday, I am going to read from Yu-Gi-Oh! 2002's guide or whatever. Fucking God. Game Facts names. It's a Game Facts guide. It is a text guide on how to find all... The bottles. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. We're gonna go on this journey together, so we can relive my childhood trauma. So, bottle one. Go down the stairs and across the street. Straight in front of you is a spider web that you can use to jump onto the roof of that building. Once you are on top of that building, turn to your right and you will see a statue on a chimney. Let's do this. This is a long one. <laughs> we started off long. So. Go down the stairs and across the street. There's a spider web on building. I'm gonna steal this guy's loot. It's a silver metal, I guess. It doesn't even look silver, it looks gold. Once you are on top of that building, turn to your right and you will see a statue on a chimney. Look, there's a statue on a chimney. Fuck. Look at this fucking piece of shit. Hold on, I'll pause it. Break the statue and get on top of the chimney. Jump to the cable that guides the train slash tram. Go to your right and jump to the support beam that is connected to your hideout. You will find the first clue bottle on the left of the hideout's rooftop. Look at this. Got it. So, like, the important thing to note here is one bottle leads to the next. Jump back on the support beam, then onto the cable going left. Continue down this cable, avoiding the power cells until you reach the bridge. Like, what, what does that even mean? So, uh, uh, avoiding the power cells until you reach the bridge. Which I, is this the bridge? To your left, you will see the second clue bottle. The side of the bridge to your left. What? Oh, okay, there I see it. Got it. Oh, fuck. Fuck, guys. We have to get the bottle in the right order. This is gonna be great. We're already at like 2, 245. Yeah, this is gonna take, this is gonna be a long episode. Well, I've committed to this bit. Don't worry, we're not gonna do this. Oh my God, I'm terrible at this game. We're not going to do this for any of the other episodes, but we have to relive my childhood drama for nostalgia's sake. I'm getting, like, serious nostalgia. This is the same guy I used when I was a kid, mind you. Like, there's only one clue bottle fact on, uh... There we go. On game facts. Bottle 3. Continue down the cable more, and you will come to a rooftop with a power generator on it. Turn to your right, and on the corner, there are two wires with the bat-shaped spires on them. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, this fucking, this fucking wire. Uh, uh, uh. Got it. Go across the one on the right first and climb up the pole to find on you find on this rooftop. Jump onto the spire tip of this pole and jump onto the wire that has a third clue bottle. I think I did it wrong. See, see, this is why this is my child. Go across the one on the right. First, climb the pole you find on this rooftop. Fuck off, werewolf. Also, I hate that these enemies just come out of nowhere and then they give away your location. This is terrible. Go across the one that. Two wires with a bat shaped spire on them. Go across them on the right. First, you climb up the pole you find this rooftop. Jump onto the spire tip of this pole, and then jump to the wire that has the third glue model. Okay. 
Oh, he means this one. This one. Okay, see, like, you know, you see what I'm saying here? I'm not crazy. Follow the wire to the right and jump onto the ledge. It ends on... What? This is so obtuse. To your right, you will see two gold hooks you need to get to... You need to use to get to the fourth clue bottle. And, like, that's that's the end of it. It doesn't say, like, the fourth clue bottle be blah, 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 here, here. That's it. Go back to the power generator. Climb up the pole, the power generator. This is... Again, like, you know, you really... I really... This is why I think the landmarks really stuck with me. No. No. Uh, spire jump to its tip, then spire across from the jump and down the wire. God, Jesus. I hope somebody else who's watching this had to go through this. I mean, six minutes, we've gotten five clue bottles. It's, you know, it's a lengthy process. This is going to not be indicative of how long it would normally take if you know where you're going. But again, you won't get to the point where, like, well, I don't know where the last one is. Follow this wire to a rooftop and climb the pole to the right to find a six clue bottle on top of it. Oh, damn. You should be able to see the seventh clue bottle from here. Okay, luckily I can only see one. Uh, you need to drop down to the rooftop and then jump to the train tram cable to get over to it. Jump on the spire below it and then jump onto the ledge it is on. The train can wire, blah, 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 jump on the spire, and jump on the ledge. There we go. See? Those instructions fucking work. Now continue along the tunnel rooftop of the train slash tram until you continue on with the cable again. Until you can continue on with the cable again. Let me kill this fucking werewolf first. God, I hate, I hate lycanthrope. I broke into an accent there, and I don't. Uh, follow this cable on another bridge with the eighth clue bottle on your left. That's this one. I remember I fucked that one up before. Imagine like skipping from eight to nine and then doing nine before you did eight and not maybe doing it right. Probably not. Climb up the pole that goes up the wall to your right. Jump off at the ledge and it ends on and jump onto the next pole. You will find the ninth clue bottle on the rooftop at the top of the pole. I remember reading this. Like, I remember these words so distinctly. It's really alarming me. I thought there would be multiple guides for this. There's still just the one. Years later, there's just the one. Um, use your L3 button. Push left analog stick in. Oh, fuck. Look at all these missions. Um... And face your hideout. See, look at this, like, use of, you know, landmarks and shit. Drop down in front of you to the walkway. In front of you is a guard tower. Look over the railing of it in front of you, and you will see the 10th clue bottle on a fence you need to go out. Fence. On a fence you need to go out on. Awesome. Drop down. In front of you is a guard tower. Look over the railing of it. Oh, okay. Look over the railing of it. Okay. Like, imagine how this kid, because, like, I feel... <laughs> no offense, Matt, here. I feel like this, the kid who wrote this, he's obviously 16. Maybe 14. Um, not necessarily true. I just, like, imagine you're sitting there and you're like, fuck. I need them to go in this specific direction. They might not have been facing that direction. What can I do? Oh shit, I'll have them click in the left stick and then face their hideout and then go the pathway that's kind of in that direction. Like, Jesus, man. It's like, I can't imagine writing this one. So this is, this is a long one. Strap in. This is 11 and 12. Look back towards the guard tower you just jumped from. I'm looking. And you will see a pipe to climb up to your right. 
I do see it. Climb the guard tower and follow the walkway around to the right until you see your right until you see to your right the twelfth clue bottle. Not the eleventh, the twelfth. We just got the tenth for reference. Let's follow the path to the right until I see the twelfth clue, clue bottle. Okay, there I think I see it. On a searchlight. No. Wrong. Fucking wrong, Alex. There I go. There it is. I'm loving this way too much. Before you get on that one, though, continue to follow this walkway and climb up the light post to your left right before the end of this walkway. What? I think this is right. Again, like, you see where I'm at. Spire jump to the tip and jump to the roof of the guard tower. This jump is a little farther than some of your other double jumps. Oh, thanks for the fucking clarification. Nailed it. Um, you will want to do your second part of your double jump a bit too late to get enough distance to the rooftop. Use the wire to your left to get to the 11 clue bottle on the rooftop of this guard tower. Once you got that, go back and get the 12th clue bottle on the searchlight. If you already got it, just go back to the searchlight to help you understand the next two descriptions. See, like, the thing is, the reason he has you get this one is because if he ended it here, he didn't know what the fuck to tell you to go to. <laughs> so he has you, like, Go along a path, see that there is a bottle that you can come back to, but continue along the path to get to one clue bottle that's kind of isolated, and then go back to the path to the clue bottle, which is your landmark on a... <laughs> I love this so much. This is terrible. This is a terrible guide. I'm sorry. It, it, and it's not... It is not a bad guide because it's, like, bad at telling instructions. It's very specific. It's just the medium is terrible for collectibles. <laughs> but it's amazing. Okay, so this is 13 and 14. Considerably shorter than 11 and 12. Fuck off. Don't get 12 first. Um, 13 and 14. Jump to the rooftop in front of you. Go to your left towards that searchlight that you see in the distance. What? There are two. All right. I'm going to have to kill these guys first. Okay. When you reach the edge of the roof, walk along the fence to your left? Oh, okay. I like I said, go towards the searchlight in front of you. Like, don't go on it, go towards it. You should see the 13th clue bottle guarded by a searchlight. Turn and look back at the building you were just on. Look down inside the fence area. You should see the 14th clue bottle in the corner by the fence. Well, it was indeed guarded by a searchlight. We're at the 14th clue bottle spot. We gotta be at the right spot. Use the pole to your right to climb back to the roof. You just jump down from and climb up the pole on the far side of the rooftop. I'm guessing that this is the pole to my right. Even though it's to my left. It'd be really shitty if I found out, like reading this years later, that this guy didn't know his right from his left, and I didn't at the time either. <laughs> no, I, I remember consistently running into problems where like I wasn't maybe facing the right way especially in later chapters and it fucked me you will find the 15th clue I'm getting like a Stockholm Syndrome thing where I'm like man I should just use this for the rest of them because then like I can consistently get them but like 
No, it's terrible. This is ter This is the worst. Jump down and climb and find the first. You will find the 15th clue bottle inside the crooked tuning fork, looking thing at the top of this pole. That's a fucking great. That's a quality description. I mean, it's accurate. I, I guess it's crooked. We're at a one bottle per minute uh, consistency. Use the gold hooks that you see from here to get to the large rooftop. What large? <sighs> Go to the left side and look down. You will see a small rooftop down below. I remember this. Drop down to the rooftop. You will return to this rooftop after you get the 16th clue bottle. Thanks. And turn around. Jump on the rooftop just below the walkway you're on. You need to walk along this rooftop under the walkway. You were just on the 16th clue bottle. Look at this. What? I feel like there's a better way to describe almost every situation we find ourselves in. And he said, return to this fucking rooftop after you get to 16. Don't fuck this up. Go back to the little rooftop and jump on the spire of the rooftop. Look across from you and you will see the 17 crew bottle over the front uh, gate. Look at it. I see it. It'd be great if you just said, get it. Use the light post to your right in the front of the gate to open, get up to it. Get it, bitch. Pretty sure he does say stuff like that. At some point in these guides. Drop down from here and have Sly's back facing the gate that you were just on. Walk along that path to your left, past the car, and use the pipe on your left, the one you used earlier, that you came, that you come to after the fence. Now go back to the train slash tram cable and continue down the cable more. See the 18th clue bottle set. Uh, past the car. Fuck. Ow. Use this. I don't. I guess I used that earlier. Oh this pipe like this was like from 10 clue bottles ago don't fucking act like I remember that shit god damn it Yu-Gi-Oh 2002 now jump back to okay drop some health no of course not so now we want to continue on the tram cord And boom. Whew. Continue to follow the cable and you will see a gold colored hook to your right swing from that to the pole of the small ledge. Um, what? Climb over that pole and you will find the 19 clue bottle on the ledge to your left. Again, the Stockholm Syndrome is fucking real. This is terrible, and I love it. Alright, small ledge, climb up the pole. Another small ledge, boom, boom. Continue to follow the train slash tram tracks, and near the end of them, when you'll find the 20th clue ball. I think this guy's asleep. A fucking schmuck. My silver metal bitch. Still looks gold to me. There's some health. Boom, 20th clue bottle. Spire jump to the bat shaped spires on the wire to your right to get on the rooftop nearby. I yeah, I guess that's to my right, sure. Fuck. I fucked up. I'm about to get the wrong clue bottle in the wrong order, and then I'm gonna be fucked for the rest of this whole game. Uh, follow the rooftop up to the right and you will come to a wire being guarded by a searchlight. Get across that wire and you will find the 21st clue bottle on the ledge to your left.
Boom. Fuck yes. God, I have a full erection right now. Just kidding. Calm down. I'm reading this off my phone that's sitting on my lap, like on my gross stomach right now. It's worth noting. I told you this is going to be a long episode. I promised this. And now I'm delivering. And y'all are like, God, I could just skip this one. He's not going to play any of the jobs in this episode. But what if I do? You don't know yet. Uh, now you make your way all the way back to the chimney on the very first rooftop you jumped on across from the hideout. That's a big jump, bro. How the fuck am I supposed to get back there? He doesn't even tell you how to get back there. I gotta figure that shit out for myself. I'm about to fall in the water. Oh, I didn't. God. Can, can you believe the audacity of this man? I'm useless without his guidance. He expects me to know how to get back here. Yeah, I got a sapphire. Yes, I know which rooftop it is. It's this one. See the goddamn car. Jesus. The very first room. I remember this. I remember being indignant every time I read it. So I used this guy like seven times because I can't play through this game and not collect all the stupid fucking bottles. So I would... And I'm a crazy person who replays games all the time, as you can clearly see. So I would use this guide every time I replayed it. Anyway. When you're on the chimney with your back to the hideout. Okay. This is gonna be good. It's here. When you are on the chimney with your back to the hideout, period. I'm sorry, person. I'm like, I'm not trying to put you on blast. Don't like, don't, don't give this dude shit or anything. It's just me and him have a relationship right now. And it's intimate. Period. Full stop. When you're on the roof, full stop. New sentence. Go to the tip of this rooftop on the left and use your wire with the bat shaped spire on it to cross over to the other rooftop. There's a very tippy like part of this rooftop, like a penis. One might <laughs> This rooftop is like a penis. One might say. You will find the 22nd clue bottle on that rooftop. I love how like, I love how this is written. And I hate it. I don't know if like you should be less specific or more specific. I I don't know where I'm at with it. Go back across the wire with the bat-shaped spire on and go to your left along the edge of the rooftop. You will see a skinny ledge to go over to the next rooftop on your left. Where is the wire? I see the skinny ledge. Oh, fuck. Gross fucking spider. Once you're on that rooftop, look to your right and use the sp your spire jump on those bat-shaped spires hanging from the wire to get the 23rd clue bottle. You will find the 22nd clue bottle on that roof. Go back to the rooftop you were on, and around the corner you will want to climb the pole, for lack of a better name for it. Oh, thanks! Now you're, you're like... Now the term pole that you've used 70 times in this fucking guide. Lightning rod, maybe? For lack of a better name for it, now we have to get your sarcastic commentary. I love this person. <laughs> Me and Yu-Gi-Oh 2002 have gone through an incredible relationship. Ups, downs. This is like the foreplay <laughs> before we make sweet love. <laughs> Go back to the rooftop. <laughs> and climb up the pole in parentheses for lack of a better name for it. Thanks. Close parentheses. You see to get up to the higher rooftop. Jump onto the higher rooftop and turn left. Go straight to the edge of this rooftop and you will see the 24th clue bottle on a wooden ledge to your left. This is amazing. Jump down to the roof in front of you and you will see the cable to your left this is also known as the guide reading audiobook 
but make your way to that wire, avoiding the searchlight, in parentheses, to get the 25th clue bottle on the ledge that the cable ends on. Jump down to the roof in front of you. Oh god. It's one of those railroad wires. I want to turn the cable and wedge the cable on top. Go back down the cable and go to the far end of this rooftop. Go across the small ledge, connecting the rooftops, and use the gold hook to your left. Gold hook capitalized. Uh, to your left to get over another rooftop. Yeah, suck a dick. Got that railroad slide, son. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to become a, a different person. Go, there. Go over here. Gold hook to my left. Kill this fucking werewolf. God, I hate lycanthropes. Lycanthropes! As I am also known. Next gold hook to get over to the walkway to the right around the building. Use the left. To your left, you will jump. That's 26 right here. You would jump on the roof of that car and then onto the ledge above it. Go to your right and you will find the 26 clue bottle. Car, Drop down the walkway below and go to your right, past the car you used to mom a moment ago, and right below the before the bridge, look off to the right side of the walkway, in parentheses just after the building next to the car. You should see a spider web with the 27th clue bottle on it. It's dumb that you can't use select to also close that menu. Drop down on the street on the right side of the bridge. You will see a smaller bridge here to cross over on. Once you've reached the other side of this small bridge, look slightly to your left and you will see the 20th clue bottle under the bridge between some support beams. Boom. Um, let's see. Drop down in front of you and look to your left. You will see a little dock and a boat to the left of the of it with the twenty third clue bottle on a log in the water to the left of that. Jump to the dock and use boat to your left before you log the twenty ninth clue bottle on it. It's he said twenty third and then twenty ninth, so. Oh yeah, I forgot you can charge your game. I always forget that. He said 23rd and then 29th. It was the 29th both times, but he said 23rd and then 29th. God damn it, Yu-Gi-Oh. You're playing with my emotions. 30. Go back to the little dock and then jump on the boat that you have not jumped on yet. Do you know which boat that is? If not, I cannot help you. Yu-Gi-Oh. Suck my dick. Jump to the little dock pathway to your right and go up the stairs. At the top of the stairs, climb up the pole to your left. Spire jump to the tip of it and then jump to jump and climb and jump and climb up the light pole next to it. Jump to the top of the light pole to get the 30th clue bottle. So I right, go up here, right up the middle stairs, at the top of the stairs, climb up the pole to your left. Did it. Uh. Congratulations, you have now collected all the lost bottles of episode four. I don't think they're called lost bottles. I think they're just called clue bottles. Now, luckily, I think this is the only episode where you don't actually find the safe along the way. If you climb back here into the contestant's house, again, they never tell you about this. This is where the safe is. You never have to come in here. It's totally optional. Um, but yeah, so like you can, I remember the first time I got it, I was waiting to stumble across the safe, never did, and I totally miss I had to come back and get the safe. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. That Contessa is smarter than I thought. Damn. I believe the code is 248. 248. Yeah, that's the name of my book. 
Maybe it came from here. Long toss. So the pa another passive ability. Here, I'll read. Th this is at the end of the clue bottle list. He also has a description. Reward, colon. The safe for this area is a bit different compared to the previous ones. I like the tone that I've acquired for Yu-Gi-Oh! over here. To get this safe, all you need to do is follow the train tracks like you did in the quote-unquote train hack mission. And right before you reach the final console that you use in that mission, look to your right and you will see it. Look to your right. Full stop. You will see a... Cr There's a period there. You will see a cross space to go inside the building through the back of the building. Inside the building through the back of the building. In parentheses, the building that has the flashing light in front of it. Close parentheses. You will find the safe in there. After you have found all 30 clue bottles, you will go to where the safe is and push the code 248 that Bentley gives you and you will receive the long toss. Well, do I recommend this fact? Yes or no? I don't know how to answer that. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! FM 2012 slash Yu-Gi-Oh! Angel. There's ASCII art of clue bottles at the top of the fact. <sighs> I, I... I just I I don't know how to f how I feel about this. I feel like we had a very emotional journey this episode. You know, this was an optional episode. It was a clue bottle collecting episode. I don't know if people love or hate those. I'm sure somebody does. But we real we relived a part of my childhood together. Look at Sly. He's like, "God damn, you were a bitch. Whiny bitch." Um Shit, I will. I was gonna say I'm. Uh, I'm in San Francisco when this is going up. I'm at PSX, or I'm in San Francisco for PSX, hanging out with a great bunch of people. PSX is tomorrow, the day after this episode goes up. Obviously, if you're watching it after the fact, PSX 2015 already happened. But just want to say, if some weird stuff goes on the Monday episodes, I'm gonna try and make sure everything's scheduled like weeks ahead, uh, just because I'm gonna be out of state and everything. If not, I'm sorry. I've definitely been less consistent with this Let's Play series than Paper Mario, which was beautifully consistent. Um, I'm working on it. Um, anyway, next time on Alex Plays, we'll get back to trying to save Murray. So, catch you all next time.